The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. It doesn't matter where you're at, as long as I'm here, and uh, it's this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Hopefully, you ever, oh, that came through. Eh, it didn't sound right. Eh... Take a look here. Eh, that's there. Okay, so what do we have going on today? Well, we're up 75 points on the S&P cash. And it is one of those things. Um, you know, you just have to say, they continue to drumbeat. And the media to scare everybody to death, and five minutes later, it's like, what happened, and did anything happen, and everybody just ignores it. But, uh, yeah, this is kind of where we were looking at uh, on Friday before all the uh, drumbeat really started. I didn't, I wasn't very surprised to see us right back here. Um, pretty much everybody I know is just going along with their life, no matter how bad uh, uh, the news tries to make the end of the world apocalyptic uh, Christmas uh, time seem. Um, and, uh, you know, for the most part, everybody's pretty happy. Um, but they're doing that at the expense of turning off uh, any kind of news whatsoever. So, you know, can you get the people that are really focused on this to... Uh, uh, to flip over fairly quickly, you can, but uh, I wasn't expecting it to last very long. The news actually, other than um, the drumbeat from the media, was actually fairly good um, medium and long term in the market. Uh, not spending 4 or $5 trillion is going to make a huge difference to the economy. Uh, the government really doesn't. Uh, multiply that cash anywhere they spend it kind of just goes into a black hole uh, when an economy gets it it's not always spent the right way but you'll get a few companies like Microsoft that'll end up with a hundred thousand employees and uh, those people uh, will start companies of their own and so on and so on so you got to kind of look at I think the bigger picture I thought a lot of people probably uh, after they calmed down after yesterday, probably thought the same thing. And that is that uh, uh, there isn't a whole lot you can do about it one way or the other. It's good or bad or exaggerated. Um, just uh, very interesting to see maybe a ch sea change uh, about leadership um, on that whole front. And uh, I don't I, I think I, it's been probably six months since I had CNBC on for anything other than the five minutes after uh, FOMC meeting. And I just had it on this morning. It was kind of interesting to see Kramer uh, saying uh, it's time to give a lot of these guys that are running the COVID show the boot. Uh, many other people probably or many other people on the same show were kind of agreeing. So I, I think we've, you know, it, at any point, you, you get to the level where it just uh, you're pushing on a string, uh, good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, for us in the, in the markets, it's about higher and lower. And uh, you know what? Government's not sucking up all the money. It's always a higher for the market. And uh, yeah, that's, like I said, I just the whole weekend drumbeat, this seemed to be uh, hyperbole uh, to at least ex a certain part. So, yeah, that's what I am. I'm talking about the markets. And uh, that does have 
uh, and the news does have an effect for a very short amount of time. And then we go back to the rest. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not thinking that there's a whole lot left in the tank for that. I think it's all about the economy. Uh, got some emails are ready today. Um, okay. I got a whole bunch of emails. Let me see if I can go through them real quick here. <laughs> okay, stuff I can't say. 2 p.m. drop today. No polar uh, polar pullback. Eh, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, uh, as we look at this, uh, oh, the first question comes in is on uh, Micron. Uh, Dave, I saw you talking or I s saw you talking about uh, Micron on Friday saying that it would be one of the few companies that you held through uh, earnings and uh, kind of asking why. I think I said it back then, and that is, one, um, they're the last company that are going to go up, uh, belly up uh, out here, and two, they're the ball-bearing company. Um, but, uh, you know, this thing really looked for a long time like it was headed higher uh, back in the 70s, I missed it. Should have held on a little bit longer. I know a couple of subscribers to the Tech Insider did. Uh, but yeah, uh, probably stumbles up to 100, I think, now after this gap. Uh, it may be problematic, but you know, you got everybody from NVIDIA to AMD buying this video memory. It's great margins for them. Um, a lot of the new stuff coming out, uh, one of the reasons I put in the Tech Insider uh, that I thought Micron would do well is uh, the new uh, DDR5 uh, uh, memory for PCs. And, you know, that's a whole business. Uh, at the very beginning, they make a ton of money on that stuff. So it, it's just very tough for me to see any reason why at least Micron is going to have a hard time as long as people keep buying video cards uh, and computers. Uh, their business is going to be good. And as uh, they said, which is probably a reason that they bounced so much today, is that uh, the supply problem is actually getting better, which is something uh, we've been talking about on the show and in the newsletters. Uh, and that is that they had said, um, both Micron and AMD, uh, and in fact, AMAT in the last report, uh, earnings report, did talk about how things are getting better in the supply line. The big risk out here, of course, is going to be China and what they do with Taiwan. Uh, but uh, during the uh, two or three weeks where there's not a uh, new moon, and I'm assuming that China will do what everybody else does, which is invade on a new moon. Uh, I, I think you should. I think uh, you could probably just be long the equities for a little while. And more than likely, I'll probably switch to uh, options uh, during riskier times. We'll be back in a minute. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of least resistance is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win visit tfnn.com today and subscribe to david white's ultimate trading newsletter for 119 dollars a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee take the path of least resistance at tfnn educating investors
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE, and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I uh, a little talk at the end about uh, what would happen to slow down in the economy. Uh, NVIDIA would only sell twice what they have if they could actually make it. Um, the, there is one big fear that would hit NVIDIA, AMD, and Micron all together. And that would be a crash of the cryptocurrencies. Because just like before when the crash happened, there was a flood of video cards uh, that hit the market. But uh, right now, it's about, uh, eh, I don't know, $10,000 worth of electricity in video cards and stuff, and then amortization uh, to get forty grand if you're lucky enough to get a Bitcoin, or forty five or whatever it is today. So for me, it is very tough to think that it drops below the cost of production anytime soon. Um, you know, if you can spend ten grand and get forty, it's probably better than trading. Uh, there's a little more to it, but there are a ton of folks. Those guys have been paying up for those video cards. Uh, a card that should sell for seven hundred bucks sells for fourteen hundred bucks, and everybody uh, all along the line from uh, people that work at Newegg or Best Buy uh, will buy one at retail and flip it. Uh, for double. And from what I hear, both the people at uh, Newegg and some people that uh, have uh, some swing at Best Buy locations have been buying new cars. Um, beyond the, the level of what you would think. So the whole gray market, uh, black market part is out there. Uh, but uh, it is tough to see a market uh, where there just wasn't any appetite to buy the video cards that uh, is in excess of at least twice. Um, every time the Best Buy around here gets uh, any video cards that they're going to sell at retail, uh, a lot of companies like uh, Newegg shove them in PCs that are horrible and make you buy that with the uh, video card. So they're actually making another three or 400 bucks because uh, that PC would probably be unsellable any other way. 
Uh, so people just buy it to get the video card. So I, I, I have a feeling people really just don't understand uh, or believe just how tough it is to get a video card uh, for a PC. It's easier to get PC stuff, um, still tough, but doable, uh, next to impossible. Anyway, uh, when the last couple of times at uh, the local Best Buy, uh, there were 100 people for five video cards. That tells you just a little bit about how tough they're get to get. Anyway, uh, 877-927-6648. Uh, yeah, I was gone yesterday. Uh, I had the electrician here for, I don't know, five hours. Um, in another touch of irony, uh, the uh, system that I have, that standby power supply, uh, broke, and that's what caused the problem. And so I didn't have any ability to run my computers most of yesterday. Uh, but uh, eh, I got everything back online now. Uh, today will be my uh, last day of the year. I'll be back the 5th of January. Uh, newsletters will continue. I think that there's going to be some fairly decent action. I think today is the first part of that. Uh, the second part will be a lot of people that have gotten short the last couple of days are going to sit on their hands thinking the market falls back over. I think all it does is squeeze them into uh, January 1st. Uh, and I have bought a trade or I'm in a trade uh, from this morning, 5-6% uh, up uh, today, uh, that uh, I think will continue on. I don't want to be anything uh, probably on the first day of the year. Uh, a lot of people are thinking there's going to be a lot of selling into that part, but uh, eh, tough to say. Uh, don't think that uh, uh, higher taxes are on the uh, way. I think uh, all that stuff is probably on hold uh, until the elections now. So uh, I, I don't know. Again, the, the big problem that we don't know, like looking at a still lake, is just how much left is there to sell for the insurance companies to pay for the big tornadoes and destructions over the last week? That's part of it. The other thing is uh, when we look at the TLT, uh, what is that telling us? Right now it's telling us uh, they've been back to selling bonds and buying stocks. Um, we are back at support. Um, volume is really kind of pulled back down. But this area, 146.50, has pretty much been the level that you want to put a, uh, a mark on because below that, uh, the market has sold off. At this level, the market's kind of liking it. Uh, but uh, we shall see. Um, two, 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 okay. The question, uh, first email of the day is looking at GLD. Uh, again, you had a nice pop. A lot of that was on the thought that we were going to have a lot worse inflation than we, than we had already. Um, I think uh, we put a pin in that again for this year, uh, but it's going to take a couple of things. Uh, most of the inflation, at least in my opinion, is based on a very tough energy policy uh, that flows into literally everything we buy, sell, or think about buying or selling or using or doing. Um, that probably doesn't go away very uh, easily, and at least gas prices are probably going to hold up for a while. In fact, most of the um, stocks that I saw on my scans last night, uh, including uh, some of the uh, Gartley patterns, uh, were about that. I can't remember which ones they were right now. We'll pull them up. PBF Energy, there were some other ones. They just didn't look as good as, as these, but there were some others. Uh, PBF Energy, um, nice move off that one uh, this morning. MTN, uh, what was this? Vale Resorts, nice pop in that Gartley pattern. Uh, IXC, uh, nice one on that one, too. These were all nice, but this was the... Uh, IXC Global Energy ETF. Uh, there were some other ones that didn't look quite as good. These were structured a little bit better. Uh, but uh, certainly you got the first bounce, you ride into resistance. And in fact, 
um, as we look, resistance does come in uh, today, uh, right at about uh, 4650 on the S&P cash. And so I think that there's a great deal of uh, uh, resistance for the indexes above. But like I said, I think a lot of the stocks that have been shorted heavily, uh, NVIDIA, AMD, uh, Apple, um, which we haven't looked at quite yet, uh, also problematic. Uh, let's look at some of these other Gartley patterns out here today. They all seem to work very well. Uh, Carter's, CRI, AVNT, uh, Avnet, uh, and uh, ARR. Is this sealed there? I can't remember. Uh, American Industrial. I know. Another good one. They all seem to work well today. We'll be back in a minute. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return, got a question to look at uh, GDXJ. And, you know, I don't think that there's a lot more in the way of the, of the uh, downside in a lot of these. But, uh, yeah, probably the action's going to have to be at the very beginning of the year, uh, unless something, you know, really comes out of the woodwork 
that we aren't expecting. I don't see a lot going on in that. I'm looking for stocks that have super high short interest that people are shorting on a daily basis. Uh, and those are probably going to go up into the first of the year. Um, although I'll probably be out of them. I'm not going to wait for the last 10 or 15 percent of the trade. I'll be out fairly easily. Um, XLE from Jake. Uh, two, two, two. Okay. And see, yeah. I mean, you just went down, retested the gap higher. Gap higher had 40 million shares. You would have liked to seen Friday, or I mean, yeah, you would have liked to seen uh, Monday have a little lighter volume. It was lighter, 36 million shares, but I think there was a lot going on there. Uh, the bounce today, not enough energy. Uh, you're probably going to go out and consolidate a little bit, but my guess is that's going to be another big year for energy trades going on, but uh, you may need some consolidation into the first of the year. Uh, to, to, to another question about Workday, WDAY. Uh, to, 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 Yeah, you got through resistance. This is really what I like. I'll have to look at the short interest tonight. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised that this goes back up to about 290 uh, over the next week or so. Uh, that's actually fairly nice looking. Uh, uh, Okay, we haven't talked about uranium in a little while. A question about CCJ. Um, you know, you did test yesterday uh, the 11 million share low on September 24th at $19.91. Um, you bounced back up and above the, uh, uh, the resistance level. Uh, which is this uh, level on the way down. Um, probably uh, a nice setup, but you're uh, in a trading range that probably goes to 26 to 28 bucks now. Uh, but again, a lot of the stuff may be just quiet uh, until the first of the year. Uh, question is, is there any chance that uh, SPCE uh, doesn't go bankrupt, in your opinion? And, yeah, um, SP, did I put it in there? There we go. Um, well, I would have said AMC was going bankrupt. Uh, but, uh, you know, weirder things can happen. I don't see anything other than that, and that is uh, everybody running the shorts out here and then selling more shares into it for them. But, no, this is a company really doesn't have any business. Uh, kind of like GameStop, a little bit like AMC. There's just not a real core business that can survive underneath it, at least in my opinion. Uh, if it does, it's vastly smaller uh, than what's out there today. But uh, even Musk is going to have a problem with SpaceX. Uh, probably the only uh, uh, silver lining on a black cloud for Virgin Galactic uh, is if uh, he gets in trouble with uh, the way that the bookkeeping is uh, on both Tesla and on SpaceX. In fact, let's take a look at uh, Tesla. Um, you never, you didn't get back over today. Um, this is kind of the original blow-off top uh, double repo pattern. You didn't get as much as you'd like on these big down days, but it did accumulate. Um, yeah, you could probably bounce back up to 1,000, and then we'd probably be looking uh, at that long-term level that we were talking about, uh, which comes down just under 600 bucks. Um, but uh, you know, a lot of these people were just nutty when they were yelling and screaming at the $1,200 uh, highs. Um, it doesn't take long to come back to Earth. Give me a call, 877-927-6648.
Uh, CRM really didn't do anything this year, uh, says uh, Paul. Uh, 252.35 right now. Um, you had your bounce. You came back with a lot more energy than you did. Um, not going out of business, but uh, it continues to be problematic for even companies as big as Salesforce uh, to go up against uh, companies uh, like Microsoft, uh, Google, and Amazon for web services. And... Uh, no, I don't think it gets any better than this. Maybe they hang around for a while, but he'd need to make a vastly uh, um, uh, larger uh, change in the company, for my opinion, to, to change. And I just don't see it. Uh, even the last earnings, that big candle down, kind of tells it a great deal. Uh, to, 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 what else do we have out here? Uh, look at UNG. On my comments on energy, um, yeah, uh, risk reward. I don't think it's any better. You're still holding above the three by three. Uh, you tested the previous low of almost 14 million shares on December 6th, on December 17th, with less than half the volume. So, yeah, I don't know if the weather's coming in uh, poorly. I haven't watched. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think if you're looking for things that maybe get you out of the volatility of the regular market, if you're still worried about it, um, this is not a bad-looking chart. I don't know if you get a lot in the next week, but uh, my guess is when everybody comes back, they're going to look at this as a safe haven play for next year. Uh, to, 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 okay, BTU. Uh, okay, Dave, will you comment on the 3D printing companies? Uh, um, all supply chain issues, from my understanding, still. Um, don't know if it's getting that much better. Uh, the motors, the stepper motors, a lot of the uh, industrial kind of products that go along with these uh, continue to be a problem of getting them uh, in China or from China. Um, you know, you had some nice moves, but uh, they're like 50% swings, Stratasys, DDP. But uh, yeah, I think they do okay, but it's all about supply chain for them and uh, all their stuff sitting on docks. Back in a Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. We're back. We've got a question about uh, planning here. Volunteer. Um, it finally, well, it didn't quite test 1706. You might still get that, but man, you got to like the low volume out here. Uh, 200 million back on May 11th, 44 million on the 17th. They're just kind of going sideways out here. Again, a lot of these stocks that have been on a downturn. Uh, and back to uh, springtime lows. It may not do a whole lot before the beginning of the year, but if you add, the only thing I dislike is a little bit heavier volume. Uh, those big kind of days that kind of get you up there about 23, 24 and a half, uh, up to 25, where the everybody it came back down. But you know, good business. Uh, but you're not going to hear a lot about it. One of the problems I always have is this is kind of a good stock to sit in if you're not uh, wanting to get news one way or the other. If you get news, it's probably good, or uh, if it's bad news, it's probably earnings day. I don't think they're going to say a lot. But uh, this is a black box company, kind of like uh, uh, Hamilton Booze or Booze Hamilton. Booze Hamilton. And that's it. So... Yeah, I like it. Uh, there's just a lot of these stocks, if they don't have a lot of short interest, probably just kind of auger around to the beginning of the year. I don't see a lot of risk in them, uh, but uh, yeah, up 5% on the day. Back up above the 3 by 3 Weirder things have happened, but uh, I'm thinking that uh, it's uh, eh, probably got a little while to go. But there's a lot of stocks that are set up like this that if you were going to buy, I think they make a lot of sense not to buy right now, although they're not bad. Uh, they just make a lot of sense uh, in the first second couple of days of the year as we will probably see a lot of sector rotation. Uh, and that is out of the stocks uh, that had done well last year and into the stocks that are going to do well next year. So we want to keep our ear to the ground and really look very uh, closely. But on a volume basis, I like the chart dislike the energy on the way down that generally says that you're going to have a little bit longer cons uh, more consolidation than you did on the way back higher um okay uh alcoa well you know i would i have said that this is probably a stock that would have gone lower today and yesterday, but uh, eh, back up to previous highs. Volume's not all that bad. Uh, aluminum is always a good business. I don't know if it's going to break out before the end of the year. Uh, I see absolutely nothing that says you want to sell it. Um, certainly, there's no risk reward here to buy it. 
at these levels. But uh, looks good. Freeport McMoran a little bit more ambiguous. Um, you're up on fairly light volume. This one's a little bit more problematic, uh, at least to me. Um, up back into an 18 million share high. Uh, and that uh, was on, let me see here. December 7th, a day that will live in infamy, 18 million shares, uh, 8.7 million shares. So you about halfway into that now. So let's say you end up with 10 million shares or 11 million shares. It's telling you that there's probably some fairly decent resistance. Although I think that these companies will probably do a little better next year than they probably would already as people kind of look for stocks that maybe are a little less uh, instantly volatile. Uh, than some of the bigger uh, stocks. Uh, question about Apple. Uh, yeah, I think this one is one that probably just continues to melt up into the end of the year. Um, sales, I guess, have been fairly good. The questions um, on the bad days have been, at least according to Apple, on uh, news that probably isn't true. Apple could be lying, but eh, I don't think they are. I would say the preponderance of the weight was uh, shoddy journalism. Uh, anyway, huge uh, down day. Uh, you got a day up, but not a lot of volume out here today. But my guess is that they do have a very good uh, quarter. Uh, it's the next quarter that I think is problematic. So I'm not expecting them to whiff or do something bad. Uh, they continue to sell uh, those earbuds at an amazing rate. And those things are like printing money. They're almost like software. Uh, so I continue to think that Apple, um, you can say that it's overpriced or other stuff like that. But it's hard to think that um, it's going to be a surprise in earnings that blows these guys up. Um, I think they're going to do okay. I'm trying to remember when their next earnings call is. But I do not remember. Anyway, uh, thanks for the email, Mimi. Uh, Mimi, excuse me. Uh, two, two, two. Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> I am tired. Um, what else do we have out here? Okay. Uh, got Tesla. Question about the SMHs. Uh, is this all about Micron or is there anything else going on here? Like I said, um, it's tough to get bad words out of Taiwan, and that's really ground, uh, ground zero for semiconductors, uh, even though the adjunct uh, slightly northwest uh, in Seoul, Korea, uh, is the second one. But, uh, you know, uh, overall, uh, it, it you know the SMH is a fairly large index, and there are a lot of haves and have nots, and I think that's the biggest problem with it. You went right up to resistance, and you don't have a lot of volume. I think the rest of the companies are much more likely to see um, movement, um, but it's going to be a tale of two cities. If you're and I've said it for the last year, and that is if you're if you're making stuff for automakers, uh, not going to do you any good. If you're making high margin products like AMD and NVIDIA and Apple, um, the world's your oyster. Uh, and there's uh, probably about 20 percent of the market that's invested in selling those high margin things. Uh, there's about 80% uh, that are always getting beat up because they've got a product that's identical to somebody else. They've got a chip or a camera, and there's not really that much difference, so there's a lot of price pressure. But uh, that 20% uh, in AMD, NVIDIA, uh, to a lesser extent, Microsoft, some of the other manufacturers, if you've got a hot product, uh, you can you know you can make 60 70 percent margins and in the case of Apple um, maybe 150 percent or 200 percent margins depending on who you listen to for the earbuds so I am not uh, really bearish going into the first year uh, in that the wheels fall off the wagon so much as we have some fairly large sector rotation from the have and have nots in technology we'll be back 
like a bad rash for the last segment of the year. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we come back to the last segment of the year, up 75 on the S&P Cash. 5.30 on the Dow, NASDAQ up 3.40, the Russell up 56, crude up $2.60, gold down 6 bucks, silver up 24 cents, 10-year bond up 6 cents, almost 7 cents. So uh, we've got Tiger dollars. You can buy them today. Uh, I have been working on something uh, for several years. Uh, hopefully, I'll have that all done uh, when I return the 5th of January, but I think, I think you probably want to be doing that because I'm going to have a lot more for you in the coming year. Uh, if I can get it all done in the next two weeks, I'll have a lot more time to actually implement what I've been working on. But uh, I think it's going to be some of the best work I've ever done uh, and uh, some of the best trades probably going to come out of it. Uh, but uh, we've had a couple of good ones here. The uh, uh, had a nice, we got uh, a good uh, one this morning. Uh, we had a 100% gainer in the options last week, um, or a week before last. 
Yeah. So we've had some good trades, even with some really uh, volatile markets. But my guess is they're going to settle down a little bit. We're going to get back to what we're doing. And I've got some tools and some new uh, software that's going to help us all out a great deal more. Anyway, um, just think about that. I don't know what you're going to do tonight, but uh, you're going to wash your hands and feel the water's cold or maybe it's hot. And uh, you're going to flip a light switch on, and you're going to know it's time to sit down and uh, buy some Tiger Dollars and subscribe to either the Path of Least Resistance, the Tech Insider, or uh, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts, so you can get those Gartleys and other things. Uh, literally all the good stuff. Anyway, you all have a great and wonderful new year. See you and when I return, like uh, MacArthur. So when you can, not when you have to. Goodbye.